What's going on everybody? Daniel here. Welcome to my quick review for Justice League. As usual, there are no spoilers in here whatsoever. If you want to see my spoiler review, it'll be on the screen somewhere in the last 20 seconds of this video. Uh, Justice League is directed by Zack Snyder, stars Ben Affleck, Jason Momoa, Gavina, Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, and uh, people I haven't mentioned, etc, etc, etc. A lot of people. Anyway, let's go. Really good comic book film. Wonder Woman is still better. Really great chemistry between the cast. The Justice League looks amazing when they're all standing next to each other. Steppenwolf is a way better villain than Doomsday, and recently in Thor Ragnarok, Hela. For most of the film, Wonder Woman is a scene stealer. Aquaman looks badass and acts badass, but can't fight badass. Ezra Miller is really good as Barry Allen. Definitely way better than Grant Gustin's portrayal of Barry Allen because at least this Barry Allen is not a little bitch. Cyborg is a total badass, is a very interesting and emotional backstory, very fleshed out in this movie, and all I can say about Cyborg is booyah. Ben Affleck is kind of like Ben Affleck in this film. Donna Justice, he had this whole persona going on and this very dark voice when he talked, even as Bruce Wayne. And then... In this one, he's just more of a lighter, touchier, Ben Affleck-esque character. Don't let that distract you. He still looks very sexy in the bat suit. And for Superman, uh, he's dead. There are some really amazing action scenes choreographed. A score that's forgettable. The first hour, let alone the first act, feels like a slow dance at a wedding. This film may be cheesy and not in comedy. Comedy's fine in here. The dialogue itself, I don't think they they didn't really look at the root. The dialogue, definitely during the first hour, is not the best. I would even say some continuity errors and plot holes involving certain characters. Not as bad as Donna Justice, though. If you look up badass in the dictionary, you're going to see a photo of the Amazons or Amazonians. Uh, and all I'll say is Amazons have some of the best action scenes in this film. They are very interesting, just like they were back in Wonder Woman. Uh, and look out for the Atlanteans as well. Amazons and Atlanteans. Badass. As well, most of the CGI was good in the film. I think the budget for Justice League was like $300 million. It better be good for $300 million. I mean, comparing Thor Ragnarok to it being most green screen and noticeable green screen. Justice League is a good superhero film or comic book film. It's good. As a film as a whole, if you take it out of the genre and just make it as a film itself, it's mediocre. It is a film that is messy and sometimes it's all over the place. And at the end of the day, even though it ain't no Wonder Woman film, it's still entertaining and it's a good installment or a good addition into the DCU. I'm going to give Justice League a 7 out of a 10. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below to me what you guys thought about Justice League. And if you want to check my spoiler reviews again, uh, my spoiler review for Justice League, it will be on the screen here. One last thing. <laughs> Superman! <laughs> really good in the film. <laughs> my favorite. <coughs> uh, my favorite portrayal of Henry Cavill so far. Alright, thank you guys again. Really love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.